And we're back with some more Kenshi. And the mustachioed Muppet is about to get an upgrade. We have spent a bunch of time just harvesting copper. Lots and lots of copper so that they can afford themselves a shiny new arm. So this Skelly Doctor has a bunch of arms for sale and finally they've got a decent one. But you're looking for a left arm. So this is a left arm. It's, it's well within our price range and it's just solid. There's no negatives to it except for swimming, of course. But uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to avoid a bunch of that. So anyway, 12 grand. That's expensive, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Now we just have to figure out how to equip it. As far as I'm aware, it's under limbs. And yeah, this is a left arm. Done. Turns out no need for any of those weird sensory node things. It just figures out how to work. All right then, now that that's done, uh, let's just see if this has drastically increased our mining speed. I really hope it has, that would be nice. Oh, and uh, we've had an awful lot of spiders show up for some reason, I don't know why. All right, it does look like we're actually able to mine faster with two arms, that would make sense, but that's enough of that manual mining. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hire someone to do it for us. There'll be someone in the bar in here who can do it, hopefully someone who's got a bonus to laboring, though I gotta figure out what races have a bonus to that. One minute. So looking around, there appears to be this hive worker drone or some sort of worker drone. I think these ones have a, a bonus to laboring. We want to sort of hire them and, um, and use them to do the mining. Excellent. So what's your name going to be then? Mantis. It obviously has to be Mantis. I mean, look at them. All right, Mantis, your job is going to be very simple. We're immediately going to grab you and we don't have to be a four grand a day. That would be expensive, but we're going to tell you to go mine there. And while you go off and mine that, we can go do our own thing. So now we've got that person going off through the mining, and they've got a 20% bonus to laboring, so they should learn it faster or something, hopefully. And if they get killed, we don't really care. Now, we have a little bit of money, so let's rent someplace. Uh, someplace cheaper than that. That's 19 grand. Someplace smaller, and maybe build ourselves a little bit of smelting facilities, maybe? Hmm, let me do a little bit of exploring here. After a little bit of playing around, I've realized uh, you can build a campfire in here. So camping, campfire, and then what we've done is we've got mantis here to stand on it. Inventory. And it's turning all the raw meat into dried meat. Which is perfect. Then we just take the dried meat. But we don't have enough space, do we? Fine, we'll get uh, Muppet in on this, though Muppet is completely full of stuff as well. Reason being, uh, we raid. Well, a caravan died, and uh, they left a big pack animal behind, and we got all this stuff, electrical components and things. I don't know if we can sell them yet, but I'm really hopeful. We've already got about forty-one grand. I'm thinking with this on top of it, we should be definitely able to afford a house and start getting into some tech. Looking around, there is only two ha houses here that interest me. One is that giant one over there. Uh, that is a longhouse. Then there is a second one, which is identical, right over there. So technically, not really a different house. It's also nineteen grand. So there is a, a second, the second one I am interested in is this giant watchtower over here, which is 56 grand. We're, we're not, we, we can't even afford that one. I'm thinking we'll get that one. I like that one. It's kind of sunk into the ground. So I'm thinking we are going to buy it. Uh, are you sure you want to buy this building? Yes. Building purchased. Okay, open to public. No, it's not. Right. Well, first thing to do is set up ourselves a little research bench. Uh, like, let's just check out our new house and see what it's like. Welcome to Casa de Empty. Oh, wow. I could have sworn there was more stuff in here at some point. Uh, mind? Anything on the roof? I'm betting there's not. Nope. Just uh, some randomer. All right, fine. Let, let's just think of this place as having a lot of potential. First things first, we are going to need a research bench. So we can actually research and it's something useful. Uh, we'll stick it right in here inside the door. Uh, perfect. Then confirm. Perfect, I don't have any building materials. Yes, that's fine. We'll go buy some building materials at the local shop. This here is building materials. So we can grab a few of those. I think five will be sufficient for now, but I have a strange feeling we're gonna be back for more in a wee bit. All right, let's head back to our uh, our accommodations and see if we can't build finish off that science lab. Okay, so we just add in the building materials and it all, yep, actually, why don't both of you get on that? And this is going to be our science lab. Why do I feel like this is not going to be the most high-tech of things? Well, I suppose it is the uh, the apocalypse. All right then, that was actually pretty painless. Assuming it finishes. How do we actually research then? Give me a minute. I'm thinking gear storage would probably be a good idea. Yeah, that takes two hours. Right, Muppet, get on that. And 
Are they actually doing it? I, I think they are. Perfect. Uh, I think that should consume something, though. Pretty sure we bought some sort of science -y book a while back. That might be what that gap is there, so I think we're going to need more science -y books. Which means, Mantis, you're going on a field trip. It turns out these backpacking people are camping supplies people. They're the ones you need to talk to if you want to get your hands on some of these science -y books, or research artifacts. Uh, 15, I think 15 is plenty. Uh, I don't really want to spend much more because I, I don't know how much building materials we're going to need. We're still a little bit in the, uh, the unknown grey areas of this game so far for me. Kind of liking it though, because I don't know exactly how badly I'm messing it up. Until I actually, you know, come out the other side of it. Okay then, complete gear storage is done. Does that mean we can actually build gear storage now? Uh, buildings, give me... Let, let, let's see what you got. Storage. Armor storage? Okay. Bolt box? Hmm. Weapons cabinet, weapons stand... This does not look like good storage types. Seriously, what the hell? So it turns out I'm an idiot. The small research bench has a nice big storage area inside it. We can just dump all that stuff in there. Uh, also, we're looking up general item storage for now. Then let's see what else we can do in the tech side of things. I really am looking to get into not so much smithing, but I do want to get into industry of making iron plates and copper plates. Copper plates would be something we could do because we could harvest the copper and then turn it into plates ourselves and maybe that would up its crafting value. Hmm, I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to do that though. I'm, I have a strange feeling I'm going to research some things I don't need, but you know, half the fun. So it turns out researching how to make, well, what was it, iron refining was a waste of time. It gives us this giant building that we can't place it's because you can't build it in 10. You have to have your own settlement for that. Never mind, looks like we'll be doing something smaller. So, basic weaponsmithing sounds like an idea. Uh, basic weapon grades? Okay. And, uh, clothing manufacturing. Yep, simple clothing types and hats and headgear. So you might as well get stuck into all of that. And, yep, that's been eating into our books, but that's okay. That's okay, and while you're busy doing all of that... Are you actually started? Hey, use. Just stand there and work away. Mantis over here is busy, uh, well, doing what Mantis does best. Mining. Lots and lots of mining. I mean, we still gotta make a little bit of cash on the side, but we're waiting for our, our new businesses to come online. When it comes to smithing, we've knocked it all out. There's just, well, anything to do with smithing and clothes making, we've got the tech for that. There is later tech we're going to have to get, but I'm thinking public sales is something we'd be interested in. We can put down a shop counter and people would come to us. Yeah, we're, we're gonna build a shop. We also have to research small houses so that we can get tech level 2, which I presume will probably become important. Also, let's see, there was some other stuff here that I was kind of interested in. This one's already paid, so, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, and yep, yeah, there's no cost for any of those, so we might as well knock those out while we're here. Once those are finished, we'll, uh, we'll start ourselves on building up our smithing empire. This, on the bright side, is making us more sciency. Uh, ways to train, research things at a research bench, doing science, being sciency. So right now, we're just being sciency and getting all the sciency stuff done. Look at him, that guy is just rocking out. Just imagine he's got some earphones in and it, it, it looks less insane. With research completed, it's time to put down our, well, we're even trying to get for a while now, weaponsmithing. I want to do armor smithing, but weaponsmithing seems like the first stop along the way. Uh, it can fit all the way in there. And that's going to require six iron plates, of which we don't have any. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, we'll go grab you some right now. You can buy the iron plates over at this guy with the screwdriver and wrench search symbol but uh, we've picked up six of them that should be enough to get us started Ooh, they also have a bunch of other stuff you know what worry about that later Ooh, what's those blueprints you have those blueprints are random furniture okay support beams a whole bunch of, yeah no we're, we're, we're good we're good thank you soon we can see if crafting is worth it I, I highly doubt it but you know what I want to try out all the mechanics this game has got to offer before we kill everything well, this is awkward. I came to get supplies, and they're closed. There doesn't seem to be anyone else around. And we did do training a little bit of sneaking, so uh, let's just uh, see if we can't help ourselves to a little bit of supplies to help our business along. Maybe hurry it along there, that uh, that guard doesn't look too... Oh, come on. Yep, that, that's good enough. Quick, 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 quick. Inside, inside. We don't want to annoy the locals. It would make things awkward. Now close that door. Whew. All right then, uh, I know there's one guy on the roof, and there's one guy in that bed. Uh, let's see what our odds of stealing are. No, that's nothing in there. How about you? Is there anything in that barrel? How about you? Uh, building materials, we have a 32% chance of stealing. That is horrendous. That is absolutely horrendous and not really worth the risk. Uh, 
but ooh, we could stealth KO that guy. Oh, there's someone else on the roof as well. Let's sneak up on the roof and see if we can stealth KO both of them. Actually, no. First, we want to pick all the locks. If there's locks in here, we want to pick them, namely because it will help our skills along. Yeah, yeah, we don't have the skills for that one, do we? Uh, how about you? 5% difficulty. Yes, you or only 5% chance. That means it will be really hard for us to open that one. I mean, we might as well get some, some training while we're here. It would be rude not to. Actually, that's not a bad haul for that one. That's steel bars, iron plate. Ooh, we should... Uh, you know what? I'm going to have a quick sneak upstairs. Is there anything else that's locked around here? If there's something else that's locked, I want to pick it before we move upstairs. Nope, 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 nope. Steel bar. Okay, fine, fine. Let's just go upstairs. And if we can KO them 100%, then that would be a good idea. In this way. Come on. Right, so we need to KO them. Then we need to run downstairs and KO the person downstairs. Then if we can do that in a timely fashion. Okay, you stealth KO. Okay, they are going to be unconscious for 93 seconds. Right, we have 93 seconds to get downstairs, knock the person downstairs unconscious, and then rob the place blind. Uh, and then get out of there. So, come on. Tick, 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 Move it along, move it along, move it along. No more. Stop, stop walking. Hmm, how did you get in? Uh... The door was open? Yeah, the door was totally open. I'll just let myself out. I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, bye bye now. <laughs> what you doing? Get out the door. Run away. Quick. Seriously? How could you miss the doorway? Yep. Yeah, why do I have a feeling we're going to get a fine for this behavior? Uh, yeah. Um, that guy chasing after us? I don't think so. Sneak. Sneak. We need to get back to base. Hopefully in the morning, everyone will have forgotten all about this. Well, first thing in the morning, time to go get supplies. Uh, let's hope this guy has a really short memory. Uh, that's the hope. Actually, let's slow down time, just in case his memory is slightly longer than a goldfish. Hey, buddy. Uh, I don't think he wants to talk to me. You know what, maybe we should get Mantis in here to chat with him. That might be an idea. Uh, Wow, the pathing for getting out of here is terrible. You literally have to pick, pick right there and then down. You can't just click outside the building. That almost nabbed me last night. All right, we'll send Mantis in. Hopefully Mantis can pick up the supplies. <laughs> hey, if he's that annoyed with us, we can always just go back in tomorrow night and try again. It's not like he's going to make him any less happy with us. We got Mantis to pick us up a whole bunch of uh, iron plates. Now we can try our hand at very badly forging stuff. Okay, let's uh, load her up. Perfect. No more room for items. Grand. Then we can go under forging output queue. All right, here. Iron club rusting blade. What? Or staff rusting blade. These look terrible. Okay, sell value 165. That's barely that what it cost us. No, 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 no. Let me double check something here. All right, so what we've done here is, wait a minute, if we go under crafting, we have queued up a rust staff rusting blade, which, whatever, it takes one iron plate to make, and we should be able to sell it for 206, which is slightly more than the cost of the iron plates. So at least we get some experience out of it, and we can sell it for something. And if we check under, where is it? Skills. That should be putting up our weapon smithing. Yes, incredibly slowly. That's fine. We'll get better, and then we can research better and even better tech. Now give me... Oh god, a couple of hours. This this might take a little time. Our weapon skills are getting slowly better. We're up to mid-grade salvage, which is a thing, I suppose. But let's maybe knock out some more tech while we're at it. We'll go up to tech level 2 and see if there's any weapons we can research up there. Uh, we had to buy a few more of those research books, but I figure eh, it's worth it. Yes, we are burning through cash pretty fast. We also threw down this shop table. So hopefully someone comes along to try and buy are terrible, terrible metal staffs. If they don't, we'll just go sell them ourselves. Well, some minor problems have come along. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of the tech done, but to do tech level two, we're going to need to build ourselves the tech level two research bench. It, it's freaking gigantic. Look at the size of this thing. Have they got a particle collider built into this thing? 
Uh, well, we can't find anywhere in this house to fit it, so I'm going to have to start demolishing stuff. I think this end, maybe? Maybe if we remove the weaponsmithing bench? So I'll wait until this uh, research is finished, and once the research here is finished, we'll, uh, we're will we going to have to rip out the, the weapon production. Wasn't really that profitable to be start with, but we'll, we'll get around to finishing it off a little bit later. We did a bit of a redesign. We uh, put the science table over there, we moved the weaponsmithing over there, It's it fits just under the stairs, and we've got our table, our cloth crafting here. Well, this is for clothing bench. So, yeah, you can't really make that much clothing. We had picked up a little bit of cloth along the way, we found it on a, a dead pack animal, so we're going to use it to improve our armor smithing. Turns out cloth crafting is armor smithing, who knew? But hey, as so long as it trains up these skills, though I'm thinking we should probably hire someone directly for doing this. So once we go through these base materials, I think we're going to go on another hiring spree and add another member to the team. I was unable to find a Scorchlander waiting for us in the pub, so we'll just have to wait a day, see if any new uh, recruits come along. In the meantime, we're grinding out all of the weapon upgrades, just to see if we can get some better weapons that we can produce. Uh, though our, um... Let's just say our skills are pretty weak sauce. We're still at 26 in weaponsmithing. I think we'll need to be at 50 before we're actually just considered, you know, base level where we might actually start turning a profit. For now, I think we're just losing money on every single blade we make. But it's fine. It's fine. I don't mind a little bit of a grind, though I'm, I'm already seeing ways we can cut down on this grind next time around. Well, look who we found here. It's a Scorchlander. They have a bonus for making armor and weapons, I believe. Uh, all I want to know is if you can fight like cats. Perfect. Uh... 6,000 cats? Okay, that's expensive, but fine, fine, let me see. Weaponsmithing and armorsmithing, they've got bonuses to them. Perfect, which is exactly what we want. They suck at strength, laboring, cooking, farming. Wow, but good at dexterity, athletics, stealth, armorsmithing, weaponsmithing, and dodging. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, but what to call you? I think Maxi. Maxi will do just fine. All right, Maxi, welcome to the team. All in. That was an expensive purchase. Let's put us down below 10 grand for the first time in a while. Uh, you can follow. Yeah. I think actually we'll get them to go around and do the purchasing for us because, you know, our character has a little bit of a problem buying some stuff from a few places. I don't know. There was some sort of confusion. We ended up in place at night. Who knew? Whatever. All right. I'd... What is with that door? It is not the first time that it's done that. Ugh, that is so annoying. Never mind. After much grinding out of weapons and armor and stuff, I'm beginning to realize what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, there's always something you're doing wrong when you start these things off. Uh, we can't make money doing this. The amount of raw resources we're paying, it, it, the, the money it costs to get the iron plate, doesn't get recouped by the quality of the weapon. Doesn't matter. Uh, and as well as that, there seems to be a limit on how good the weapon can get, even with our weapon smithing going up to mid-grade, where is it, mid-grade salvage or something like that. It doesn't seem to make a difference to how good the uh, how much money we're getting. We're gonna get a little bit more, but not enough to make up the cost. Same with the crafting of armor. I think what we need to do is we need to source our own iron, make our own iron plates, and then we can actually make a profit out of this. But that's going to require us to make our own base, and to make our own base, we're gonna need to be able to defend it. So I'm thinking our plan should be well, training dummies. We need to well, we're gonna have to go on recruitment spree as well. We can get some level 2 training dummies, where is it? Yeah, better training dummies, and that can train everyone's attack scale to about 10. So we'll at least get the basics of attacking out of the way, so we're not getting, uh, well, we're not getting killed the moment we walk out the door. And we're going to need a larger team, so I'm thinking we grab, ooh, let me go hit the pub, see who's available. Well, look what we got here. It's a Shek, one of the, the fighter guys. Hmm. Okay, how much would it cost me? 6,000. Uh, how much we got? You know what? We'll pay it. We, we need a fighter anyway. Perfect. Hit points. Toughness. Attackness. Strength. All good. Everything else, they suck. Right, so your job will be fighting. Uh, ooh. Looking at that face. Welcome to the team, Medusa. Uh, we're going to have to get you into some training, though. What's your stats to start? Science and field medic. You actually have some training already. That's nice. I preferred, I would actually prefer to blank slate them. You would probably be cheaper. Oh, God damn it! What's up with those doors? Let, let, let us out. Let, stop locking us in. For going out into the big bad world, we'll have to do a little bit of training. Now, this thing won't make us great or anything, but it will get our melee attack at least beyond zero, which is, you know, nice. I can train up anything else. Maybe we can get martial arts trained up on this as well. That would be nice. Just a little bit of a smattering of everything. I think we're going to go with speed and strength first. Uh, well, strength and katanas. And then from there on in, we'll see where we go. It's just, I, I know heavy weapons are supposed to be the best one in it, but I'd like to give katanas a try and find out why they're not the most popular. 
Well, we got a bit of a new plan. First, we have to see if we can survive a little bit out there. So we've trained everyone up as much as they're ever going to get. Say, for example, we've given each of them at least 15 strength. Maybe 20 on most. One of them's got 15. It's it's basically Mantis. Mantis is down to, sorry, 16 strength. Everyone else has got 20, 21 or above. And then for melee attack, everyone's got about a 9. Oh, wait, I forgot Mantis too. Never mind, Mantis will be grand. Now we're going to see if we can go uh, pick a fight with a spider. Just just a single spider. Are, can, can we manage that? Are, are we strong enough to take a single spider in combat? Because if we can't do that, we probably shouldn't be leaving the walls. Here it is, a single spider. Can't, <laughs> can't we take it out all by our lonesome? Uh, attack unprovoked. There we go. Come on, guys, you got this. Mantis running straight out front just to get smacked. And Mantis is down. Yep, yep, Mantis is down. Medusa is... Wow, most of their head is gone. And let's see. Nope, Maxis is fine. Muppet no, almost lost her leg. Yep, that seems like it's good. Uh, the... <laughs> um, hmm. How's the spider doing? I don't think it's noticed yet. Has it noticed? Oh, oh, there's Muppet. Muppet's down too. Wait, no. Muppet's crawling. They're crippled. They're crippled, but they're thinking about it. Uh, first aid. First aid to yourself, buddy. Maybe... <laughs> Medusa, still standing. Like a boss. Uh, arm is completely limp. Yep, yep. Okay, you. Uh, no, no. You're just gonna have to stay there, I suppose. Uh, are you, are you doing the first aid? Yep, that's good. That, uh, that went perfect. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can't patch everyone back up. Turns out uh, we might not be strong enough to leave the nest just yet. Well, that that could have went slightly better. Could have went slightly worse. Uh, only recovery coma unconscious. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting everyone back up and running. I think we're out of med packs. Are we? No, no, no. We, we can steal med packs from someone else. It's fine. Hi, guys. Uh... Yeah, it's pretty rough out there. I'm uh, I'm just going to go back inside for a bit and maybe rest up and hopefully uh, our friends don't get kidnapped. Uh, yeah, and uh, enslaved. So the, yeah, this is the joy of Kenshi. Just uh, trying not to die to a single spider. Just just one. We're good. We're going to grab a quick nap and try and rest up just a little bit. So hopefully that we can go out and rescue our people. They're uh, currently in recovery comas. Lying out in the desert, completely unprotected from any slavers that might happen to just wander by and decide, hey, you know what? They'd make great slaves. Uh, also, our, one of, our arm is not healing because it's mechanical. We need to get that fixed. Though our other arm seems to be a little wonky. I don't think it's supposed to bend that way. I'm not a doctor or anything. But he seems okay. He's got that thousand yard star of someone who's left the house. <laughs> one group came by and nicked some food off one of the guys. But barring that, I think, I think we're okay-ish. Now I've come back with some sleeping bags. Yep, picked them up at the shop. Uh, time to go use these. Now we're going to grab everyone and put them in the bed, uh, in beds. It turns out it's not that hard. You just pick them up and put them in the bed. Okay, I was worried there was going to be some weird command I was going to have to look up. But I think that went really well. No one died. And once they're in the beds, they should heal an awful lot faster. Or will they? Next to it, let's crank the speed up a bit and see. Uh, yeah, that looks like it's a good improvement. Uh, at the same time... We same time, you can do some repairs on your arm. While we were back, I managed to pick up some of those. Where is it? Ah, yes. Authentic Skeleton Repair Kit. Picked up one of those a while back. There we go. That'll get our arm back up to snuff. Right then. So, uh, with that out of the way, I think it's time we head back to base, hire more people, train a bunch more of them up, and... Yep. This is why everyone loves Kenshi. <laughs>